He's going to plead with us face to face. So there's going to be no question, no doubt, no misunderstanding, no misinterpretation, no false doctrine. He's going to plead with us face to face. Okay? Like as I plead to your father in the wilderness of the land of Egypt. The same way he came with our fathers. This is what I want to do. This is how I want you to do it. Period. End of story. No negotiation. Go ahead, please. So I will plead with you, says the Lord. Okay. And I will cause you to pass under the rock. <clears throat> and I will bring you into the bond of covenant. So the covenant is going to be put back in full effect. Okay. And I will turn out from the money. So you're going to purge out the rebels for what? When Israel is gathered back together, there's going to be rebels among us that aren't walking in the full way of correctness. That aren't 100% lined up. That's why he says what? He said he's going to cause us to pass under the rod, right? Pass under the rod is what the shepherd used to do to his sheep to take inventory of each one. <coughs> pass under the rod is going to, you're going to be showing your weaknesses, and your strength and what you need to do to put everything in order. Okay? So he says he's going to purge out the rebels from among us. Okay? And then they do what? And then they transgress against me. So those that transgress against him, he's going to purge those people from among us. So right now we're still getting our act together. We're still trying to become more pleasing and more upright before Yahweh God Almighty. Okay, so we're getting together now. They're going to bring us together in the land of the north. From the land of the north, we're going into the wilderness. From the wilderness, it's still going to be half-steppers that probably going to make it into the wilderness because it's going to be, there's going to be rebels among us in the wilderness. So these rebels, these ones that's going against the covenant, that aren't walking according to Yahweh's words, the words of the leadership that Yahweh is going to set up, okay, whether it's a, whether it's a precursor to the 144,000, or the actual 144,000 we read about in Revelation 7, we don't know. Okay? But if they go against that order, once you get into the wilderness, you got to know what is what now because the Most High has done performed this miraculous work. Brought us out of Egypt, and the scripture says what? He's going to bring the same plagues on the modern Egypt as he brought on ancient Egypt. So all these things are going to be happening. So then we're going to go into the wilderness, and that's going to be that. He's going to purge out the rebels. Uh, Praise out the rebels from among us. So from there, let's look at Revelation 18, verse 4 and 5. Revelation verse 18, verse 4 and 5. Chapter 18, verse 4 and 5. So he's going to praise out the rebels from among us and bring them to the bond of the covenant and those that transgress against him. So in order to learn not to transgress, you have to learn first what the law is. That's why they say, uh, seek out the book of the Lord, Yahweh, and read. So now it tells us in Revelation chapter 18, verse 4 and 5. They say, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues, meaning come out of the wickedness and the negative program that this system, this society is pushing. Come out of that, okay? And in a way, at a point, we're literally going to come out of this northern captivity, modern Babylon. We're going to come out of it. Verse 5 says what? For her sins have reached unto heaven. Okay? It says her sins have reached unto heaven. And Yahweh has remembered what? Her iniquities. Her sins have reached unto heaven. So all them sins and all of that rape, robbing, and murdering that's been done, Yahweh God Almighty has not forgotten. So we got to come back to his covenant. Before we got anything else we got over here in America... This is what we had. Before we came to America, this is what we had. When we were still in Israel being exiled, we had the words in this book that was kept with the Israelites that were in these different countries. Okay? And Yahweh said we read that it was gathered together. That he gathered the books together, line by line, to give it to our generation. So Revelation 18.4. Um, one more, Isaiah 52, verse 11. Got four more minutes. Isaiah 52, 11. This might sound call you.
you out. <laughs> Isaiah 52, verse 11 and 12. Um, let's read that, please. Depart ye, depart ye. Go ye out from thence. So it says, depart, depart. Go ye out from thence. What's he talking about? He's talking about the redemption of Jerusalem when you read in verse 9. Okay, and he says that to the end of the earth, we're going to see the salvation of Yahweh. So we're departing from this captivity that we're in. When you read, when you start from verse 1, you see it's talking about Israel coming from the land of captivity. Okay, they went into Egypt, the Assyrian oppressed them, and so on and so forth. They ruled over us. So now he's saying, depart from this place of captivity. Go ahead. Says no unclean thing. Go ye out of the midst of her. Be ye clean. That bear the vessels of Yahweh. So now he says that be clean that bear the vessels of Yahweh. The menorah is in our heart. The showbread, Yahweh, shall all these things are spiritual signs now. So he says, come out. Don't be unclean anymore. Be clean. Be holy. Be tahar. Okay? Be pure in this word. Be pure in his laws, commandments, and statutes. Read verse 12. Please. He shall not go out with haste. In ancient Egypt, we left off fast and quick. We got to go out with haste. See, this is how we're going to be chilling. Just taking our slow time getting up out of this captivity in America. All right? Because believe it, we end this captivity in America because the whole world is being ruled by the so called Europeans, what they call G8, right? Coming up out of the UN. All right, making all the rules and passports. You can't go. You got the Geneva Convention, all this and that. Okay, then they got the Council on Foreign Relations. Then, of course, we got the cliche, which is the Illuminati. The Illuminati. Then we got the uh, the Council of, uh, of 13, which is the 13 richest families, the so called Europeans. Okay, the 13 uh, ruling families, the so called Europeans. We got the Trilateral Commission, right? We got all these different branches. So he said, don't deal with any of this stuff. We're not going to go with haste. We're not going to be afraid of these people. The most high, your house is going to start to bring them down. This system is going to start to collapse. So it says, and it, it's got to collapse. This system is not a just and righteous system. The system doesn't want to serve you justice. It wants to incorporate you into their American dream. What about the Hebrew dream? Well, it wasn't the black man's dream to come over here 400 years work on these plantation slaves and be free and say, here, you can have a job and some welfare and you can have a house and a car and be like me. That ain't our dream. We was living fine amongst ourselves with what we wanted to live with, living in righteousness, ruling over ourselves. And then they brought us into this melting pot, bring these other people into our country, bring these other people into our, into our territory, into our neighborhood, ruling us, selling us bad food, and doing all these things to help destroy us, but we the working class. Deliberately holding us back on education, deliberately holding us back sanitation and sanitary garbage, deliberately having us the, 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 the worst houses, all right? deliberately not accepting uh, this type of insurance at this hospital because this is the poor people's insurance. <laughs> okay, So we ain't going to take this at this hospital. We'll take it down here, though. You know, we'll take it down here where the doctors graduated with a 68 from medical school. Now with a 99 at the top of their class. What's it called? Kun Sao Lada. What is it? Uh, Kun Kun Lada. Not Kun Lada, but the, uh, but the come later, you know. <laughs> Graduate all this. So, so this is a whole system set up where we are meant to be the working class of this system. We got to come out of that. But we're not going to come out hasty. We're not going to come out with flight, Reed. Nor, by, nor go by flight. We ain't going to go by flight like trying to rush up out of here because Yahweh is going to be protecting us. Read, please. For Yahweh will go before us. Yahweh is actually going to go before us. Go ahead. And, and the power of Israel will be your rear reward. So Yahweh is going to be our rear reward. I mean, he's going to pay us back. For the good thing that's supposed to be done unto us, the re reward. So now he's going to go before us. He's going to pave the way. So it says, depart. Okay. Um, 